thirst, for they will be dissatisfied in their thirst. They'll be satisfied in their hunger. The kingdom of God is near. Blessed are those who are seeking and hunger and salvation. There is pain, there is suffering in these streets. People are looking for answers. They're looking for peace. They're looking for hope. But where is the hope and where is the peace? We say justice in there. We say peace. But where is the justice and where is the peace? Without love of Yeshua Jesus and God's laws that he sent his son into the world to save us. Doing all this out here on dark property? Yeah. Okay. If you guys want to, you know, you guys can go, go to, to the corners corner. and, uh, okay. you know, preach and okay. whatever you guys want to do. Okay. All right. Thank, Thank you so uh -huh. much. We're, we're, sure. for, we're for you guys. Okay. We're for you guys. Appreciate you. Appreciate yeah. you guys. We talked really... to officers up here and they sent us down here. Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah, you guys, yeah. you know, you guys are good and stuff. Just yeah. do it on the corner. Okay. Absolutely. Thank Let's you. Let's not do it on the corner. Appreciate you. y'all go. We appreciate you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. God bless you, man. All right. Okay. No. Thank you. Yeah, you guys can be on the corner. It's fine. All right. Thanks a lot. You too. Dallas, I look around in these streets. I see pain and I see suffering. I see confusion. I see fear. I see pain. I look at people's eyes and I see hopelessness. I see death. My friends, we're seeking answers. Who has the answers and who has the life? My friends, he says, bless are those who are hungry, who thirst for righteousness. And what is righteousness? It is whatever causes us to be free from what this world has offered us. Sin is death. Drugs, alcohol, sex, violence. These things will not bring us life. My friends, money will not bring you life. I'm telling you, the only way to peace, the only way to rest, the only way to end the suffering is to give your life up to Him. There's not one person He cannot forgive. There's not too many sins He cannot cleanse. Dallas, I'm here to tell you that there is hope. The Jesus that you've been preached has been misaligned from the truth. Many has been hurt and abused in the name of Jesus. My friends, I'm here to tell you that there's one way, one truth, and one life. You're not going to find it at the alcohol store. You're not going to find it with that woman or that man. You're not going to find it with money. My friends, you cannot find peace in luxury. You're not going to find it in this world. My friends, I'm here to tell you that the only way is to deny yourself from sins. Be cleansed from all unrighteousness. Believe in the gospel. Yeshua Jesus he is the one that cleanses you. The ones that frees you from suffering. My friends, I cannot promise you a car. I cannot promise you a big house. My friends, that's not the gospel at all. This is not T.D. Jakes. There's one way, one truth, and one life. My friends, you will give you peace. You know, whether you have or whether you don't have. Whether death or life. He said, he would get you life and get you life more abundantly. But we must believe and confess our sins and turn from our wicked ways. My friends, the world gives you death. They give you drugs. They give you alcohol. They give you money. They give you entertainment. Distracted by TV and music. But my friends, these things will not bring you life. There's so much violence. Because that's a cry of the suffering. Those who are hurting act out in violence. My friends, God sent his son into the world. He said in the last days, hearts will grow cold because of this is from the law. My friends, we not only hate the law, we hate God. But there is hope. Some people don't want to hear this right now. Because alcohol and drugs bring you more pressure than it brings you peace. My friends, God sent son into the world so that you may be delivered from these ways. You will not find peace seeking something in this world. It's not going to find you comfort. It's not going to find you rest. People are walking by day after day looking for hope, looking for something to sustain their life. But it's not eternal life. What is this body? What is this flesh? We all will die one day. And where will we go when we meet the end of our eyes? With our eyes closed, at the end of the road. My friends, we only have 
One choice, one way to life. It's not just confessing and believing in Jesus. That's why this to start and turning from your sins, but you empower you and give you the strength to turn from your ways. He'll give you rest that leads to a relationship with him for eternal life. My friends, Satan has used men and women all throughout the centuries to oppress us, to keep us distracted. People are in pain and suffering. They turn a blind eye, my friends. Dallas, violence is increasing in these streets. It says freedom. It says peace. He says in the last days, many will turn against our neighbors, killing one another, hurting one another. There will be violence would increase. My friends, this is the signs of the end days. Because this is from the law, hearts will grow cold. Not only from hearing the truth of God's laws and His ways, and the Savior, Yeshua, Jesus, the God of Israel, go make a new God. And chase after something that brings comfort to the flesh. My friends, this will not bring you life. This will not, this is not the comfort you're seeking. You're trying to find peace. But it will not bring you peace. Trying to find something to satisfy that flesh. He gave us a son, sent into the world. And those who confess and believe and turn from their ungodly ways, he is just to forgive you and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. This is salvation he gave to all those who believe, all those who hunger, all those who thirst. He will, he's just to forgive and heal you. He'll put his spirit inside you, put his laws in your heart and in your mind and cause you to live by his ways. You'll no longer be in bondage to drugs and alcohol and the love of sex and prostitution and witchcraft and Satanism. You'll no longer have a desire for these ways. My friends, you can't accept Jesus and still want to hold on to your drugs. Still want to hold on to your alcohol. My friends, I'm here to tell you that there's life. There is one that brings peace. Those who are thirsty, we are here to pray, not judge you. We're here to help deliver you from the ways. My friends, if you have sickness right now, and you're wanting to be free, if you have addiction right now, love alcohol, cigarettes, and drugs, my friends, if you love weed, he will deliver you from this. My friends, he will deliver you and cleanse you. My friends, I'm telling you, not only is there physical healing, there's a spiritual healing that will bring you life. If you want this life right now, I'm here to tell you, you will see a great miracle right now. Be delivered from sins. Be delivered from pain. If you have some physical ailment, you'll cure it right now. God is just to forgive you. We just must believe and turn from our godly ways. That's the only life, my friends. Your show is coming back, and judgment's gonna come on Dallas. Don't be caught in that judgment, because he wants to save you, so that you may not perish with the wicked on the day of his wrath. My friends, he loves, but he is a God of just, he's justice. It is God of peace. But yet, He is a God that also sends His wrath for those that continue in wicked ways. He can not continue to wait for all things to go on the way it has been. Violence, killings, murder, injustice, suffering, drugs, alcohol, sex. These things are not life. These things bring you death. My friends, He is here to give you rest. All who call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. Those who are thirsty and those who are hungry for righteousness, you will be free. You will be saved. Now is the time, my friends, to come before the hour is too late. The flesh will perish. The body will go through the grave. But where does the soul go? The soul is eternal. It can't be put aside. It can't resurrect in another body. It can't resurrect and come back to life. Except you either go to heaven or hell. That is the end of the road, my friends. Those who confess and believe will be delivered. My, my friends, I'm here to tell you, if you want that salvation right now, no matter what sin you ever committed, he is just to forgive you right now.
God bless you. Eh? Open they pray that you Y'all go serpent. read scripture. Y'all you can call me whatever. Yeah, look you at your eye. It doesn't hurt. Good look serpent. at yours. I look at your Full heart. of melanin. I don't look at Full you. Full of melanin. Oh Full my gosh. Life. The Lord, there's, guess what? Hey, what there's no color with the Lord. You don't Lord. have to do all that. You don't have to do that extra. Oh, that, what is that? What are you? You don't have to do What are you? You're full of hatred. You're, 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 you're a serpent. This is how this is what oh, serpent. Oh, I'm active. a serpent. Yes, that's what you are. Yeah. That's what you are. Because I'm, I'm up the white one. He has a good spirit. Yeah. You are a serpent. Yeah. You are a serpent. I can see it. Good. I can see spirit. Good. I'm good. very spiritual. Yeah, I can tell. You I'm know very what? spiritual. Satan is spiritual too. Can I ask you something? What is love to you? What is love? What is compassion? What is love in your eyes? What kind of person? What do you think is love? Love is according to me, according to me, or according to, to what? you. Love is according to what? Love is caring. What you believe in God. Right. Do I believe in God? Yeah. So you will know what love is. He said it is the covenant. He said he writes laws in our hearts. He has us to obey. How does to love? You give us the power to forgive. We love, love, even pray for our enemies. Yeah, you give us the, the, the power to forgive. Yes. That doesn't change. Right? If I commit a crime, yeah. I'm the judge. I forgive you, but you still have to pay the pipe. Period. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So all the things that and 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 and, and this is no disrespect with, with your race or anything. Well, I don't know what you are. I don't, I don't really care. I'm just saying. But everything that y'all have done, y'all have to pay for it. Don't every listen, 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 listen. Every animal that y'all have slaughtered, every every messing with nature, anything. Not just slavery. That's 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 small. That's small. From everything, from technology, where you're, where y'all mess up the ecosystem, everything. Y'all want to have to pay. Okay. You know. You you, you do know that, right? There, there's there's you do know there's that. people in every single race, all color aside. This is this is nothing with color. I don't see you your color right. It's this not is, about. Look, it's not about color. This is this is this is this is right. It's what not I'm about, about color. Say. It's about what I'm what I'm gonna say. Have y'all paid for anything? Y'all? Listen. Every listen, race, listen. every have, race has been slain. Have y'all paid? Listen, sin. have y'all paid? Okay, let me tell you something. This, this is what what God sent His Son into the world. I'm being real with you. No, I'm being real with you. Ninety-five right. percent yes. of your race is born to Him. Okay, that's the thing. That's what it is. Unforgiveness. That's, so what that's what it is. why you don't listen. Kick listen, listen. y'all not only listen, y'all not only that's did that, do with race. but y'all led, y'all y'all led sheep. Look. Here's a brother right here. Listen, y'all let sheep to wool. He's a brother. We're all brothers, brothers and sisters. Look, Listen. different races. Different We're brothers. not the same. We're not the same. We're not brothers and sisters. Brothers. We're not. Look, Why? what is going because, on today? Listen, listen. Say it. Listen, listen. listen. It's a it's a vulture and a and a and a pair at the same. They're, they're both birds though, right? Right. But they're not the same. So that's what I'm saying. We're not the same. Yes, we are we're same. birds. We're animals and humans. We're the same. We're the same. We're the same. We're the same. No. What is there? Is there a single yeah, person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is your third out? Listen, listen, listen. Yeah, what's the is respectful thing to say? What? Listen, I said, what's the respectful thing to say? Uh, how can you, how can you work? Is your third out? This is what I've been here to say. Is your third out? I can see you got some kind of spiritualness about you. I can see it in your eyes. But is your third eye open? Okay, oh, now boy. you're talking about oh, Egyptian stuff. No, 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 no. That's exactly what you're yeah. talking about. No. I'm talking about when Christ said, listen, he said, no, I'm gonna straight up tell you. I, listen, he said, I'm gonna tell you this. So, so he wasn't talking best, about, listen, he wasn't, the best, listen, he wasn't, the listen, he wasn't you know talking that about the eyes. That was back all the way to Egyptian times. That's the same spirit's listen, coming listen. out. If the your third eye, if your third eye was over the third eye, listen, third eye is Satan. No, it's not, bro. It's called, it's an actual gland. It's a gland in your brain called the people. Up. It's, it's satanic. Yeah. No, it's not. You don't blame it as a glass. What do you think Christ is talking about? The eye is a gateway to the soul. What do you think he's talking about? The spiritual eye. See, that's what I mean. Y'all are spiritual. I'm being real with you. Listen, y'all spread homosexuality. Y'all spread all these diseases, no, bro. We didn't know. That's Satan, man. We didn't know nothing before y'all met y'all. That's Satan, man. We didn't know what Satan was until we met y'all. We didn't know what. 
Bob they did. was they did. until we met y'all. We didn't know what, bro. We Egypt. didn't know what, we didn't know what child molestation was before we met y'all. Egypt right? was doing it way back then. I'm telling you, this is what y'all told me. That's what you're supporting me. Listen, that's that's Egypt. Listen, yeah, funny, I guess.